Welcome back to Sinks Your Sink TV. We are here with Tito Puentes Jr. as well as Melina. Yay! Now you sing it. Now you sing it. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, she got it. near and dear to me now because the struggle was real. Melina, I want to know more about you because you know, there's a force to be reckoned with, right? When you have a woman on that stage mm -hmm. and you're like demanding that presence without demanding the presence mm -hmm. is just, you know, the energy that you bring. Let's talk about it. What even got you into this industry? Well, first of all, I want to say I love music. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world. And um, when I was little, I used to be electric, like Ooh. electric <laughs> dancing, just like Tito. Tito and I are Gemini's. We're both Gemini's. Yep. His birthday you guys is get along? June second. Mine is That's June third. Right. How do you guys uh -huh. even? Get along. There's four really? people. There's four That's people. What I'm his wife, his wife, and my husband are like, yeah, this is too much. <laughs> There's yeah. four of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you move too fast. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, when I was little, I was always dancing. My mom always had me in jazz class, tap class, singing, art, uh, th theater, everything. I was always doing all kinds of stuff because I was, I was a hyperactive mm -hmm. child. So, but I loved singing most uh, as I grew up in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And um, then uh, my mom and I moved to Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee. Wow. So I have Memphis. a huge um, like uh, influence from, you know, the back, the R&B from back then. Elvis, I, baby. Yeah, Elvis and also the R&B. I used to, my first. You're right. Yeah, mm -hmm. Elvis and B.B. King's and all, yep. B.B. King and all everybody. Um, and my first a real gig when I was a, a teenager with a salsa band was in Beale Street, which was one mm -hmm. of the, you know, the most famous streets in music in the United States. So then after a while, I decided I wanted to, to do salsa for a living. And then I moved to, uh, Miami, and I had met Tito actually in Nashville, Tennessee, wow. back in 2002, like right after his father passed That's away. That's right. Mm. And um, we, he came in, 20 and he years. sat. Yeah, he wow. sat in with with my band, mm -hmm. uh, and then he left, and I didn't even see him for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, we just kind of shared that night, and he got up on stage and did a solo and everything. Mm -hmm. And then after that, for a while, many, like many I would years. say like 10 years yeah. or something. Um, then that's when I moved to, to Miami and slowly, you know, I started seeing him performing all over town. And then one day we ended up performing together on the same bill mm -hmm. and that's how we got to know each other. And then yes. slowly, slowly as it kind of went on, mm -hmm. I met his wife at another gig that we had together and mm -hmm. her and I just got along like Click. he's in a pod. There She's is. like my bestest friend. Nice. So for me, it's like, they're like my family, my musical family. So I'm just blessed and you know, I'm really excited to, to keep working with Tito and doing as much as we can. Um, we do, I do two festivals here in, in, in Florida, mm -hmm. the Hollywood Salsa Fest, which is a free event for mm -hmm. everybody, more than 10,000 people every April. This coming up, uh, 2023, we're gonna honor his father uh, in, in our festival, which is gonna be April 8th, 2023. Nice. Everybody's invited as a free event, family, family mm -hmm. event at the Young Circle in Hollywood. Yes. And also, we do another event in Miami Beach in, in October, October 7th. And we will also be honoring his dad so wow. to celebrate the 100 years of his life. Nice. So we're doing all kinds of great stuff and mm -hmm. I'm just super excited. This is all I've ever wanted to do in my life would be a salsera. And I never thought in my <laughs> life I would end up working with go. him ever, ever, literally. Wow. So you never know where life is going to take you. So what would you tell someone who is trying to get in the industry and you know, don't really know where to go and don't have, you know, because we, we all have our own separate journey. But what, mm -hmm. if, what would you tell someone who's kind of on the fence. Uh, it's not working out, want to do it, it's my passion, mm -hmm. but the bills, I got bills, yeah. I have responsibilities. Like what, what advice would you give that person? Well, it's not easy, first of all. Um, this man right here is the hardest working person I've ever Good met work. in my life. Like, uh, you know, he's the son of one of the greatest, right. but he also works the hardest and is always there doing yeah. everything possible to to get jobs to you know to get move forward to do other things to perform in different places and you know that's one thing you just have to take every opportunity that comes yes, along correct. and don't get discouraged because mm -hmm. you know as you mm -hmm. move as you move along mm -hmm. when i first got here i worked mm -hmm. um, at mangles tropical cafe <laughs> <laughs> I and i Mango. sang i sang there and i used mm -hmm. to sing 
five hours straight. And I used to do that for yep. almost four days a week, four or five days a week. It was very difficult. But how his dad used to say, you have to pay your dues. That's right, <laughs> pay dues. And now she's yeah. on stages with me around yeah. the world. Like, so you yeah, have to pay yeah. your dues. Yeah. And, and the thing is, yeah. it's how you say, it's a journey. It's a journey. Yeah. And as you move and you, if you quit doing it, mm -hmm. then there's no journey. Right, right. Uh, yep. as, uh, you can quit and do something else, so, but okay. if you, this is what you want to do, you just have to keep on on that journey. Yeah. Be inspired. Yes. 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 That's it. Yes, yeah. think family. We'll be right back. <laughs>